Uh, we are the handheld non-invasive cocoa bean moisture meter. My name is Bradley Beard. This is Eric Barrow, Chris Lawrence, and Kevin Atkin. Uh, the goal of our project was to create a moisture meter uh, for cocoa bean farmers in Western Africa who don't have access to cheap and non-invasive non ways to measure their cocoa bean moisture. The reason this is a problem is because when co cocoa bean farmers sell their stuff to their exporters, they're going to be checking it for the moisture. And if there's too much moisture, you can get into problems with mold. And cocoa bean exporters do not want to pay for water, so they will cut the contracts if they detect too much moisture. For this project, the way we implemented it is we wanted a system where we had an Android phone acting as the power and the control system. We wanted to connect it to a PCB and then it would send a wireless signal and based on the received power of that wireless signal, uh, it would detect the moisture. So we have, we have an app built from the ground up connecting to a full custom PCB with two microcontrollers programmed by one of our guys going through two antennas and all connected to a fully customizable 3D printed enclosure. The biggest challenge we had with this project was the PCB design. None of us had really done a PCB from the ground up. Uh, one of our guys had designed at an internship PCB before, so he already had a grip on the software. But when the PCB got here, it was kind of free for all. Like, we have to figure out how to debug it. Um, if we run into a soldering issue, we have to figure out how to work around it. So that was probably the majority of the work this semester was just debugging the PCB and figuring that out, but it was a really rewarding experience. So we learned a lot about product development this semester with uh, just the ideas of diverge then converge, and then just laying out all your options and trying to make informed decisions, and then Biggest thing, not making changes halfway through. We ended up doing one of those and it was not a good decision and it's definitely a lesson learned. But we've learned a lot about pro project management as well as the technical side of things. Here we have our device, Coco Max. Uh, we have our 3D printed enclosure and our antennas on the outside. Inside is the custom PCB that our hardware guy Chris did. And on this side is our phone. So we're coming to the phone. And we'll open, we'll open up uh, the Coco Max app that Kevin designed. And we'll plug in our device. And then here it's just opening it up. All right, first thing we have to do is we have to do a calibration, a free space calibration. We notice that depending on where we are, we get a different base value. So we just come into the screen and we hit calibrate. And we get this confirmation message. So now we're ready to measure. And here it's just opening up and it's resyncing with the calibration files. Okay, so now we're ready to go. So the first measure we'll do is our cocoa beans over here at 15%. These are just simulating freshly picked beans, so we want to test them. So we'll put our device down. And sometimes you have to let it settle. And sometimes you have to let it couple, there we go. So these are really too wet. If these were given to the exporter, they would mold in about two weeks. So now, on to the next sample of 12%. These have been drying for a little bit. So we'll put this back on. And you'll notice the color is yellow to kind of recognize that they're almost dry, but not quite there. These we've noticed mold in about a month or so, so a little bit longer than the 15%. And then we have our 8% beans right here. So these are completely dry. These would be ready to go to the exporter and you would be given the full value for these. Um, these, we've noticed, last for a very long time as this came from a bag we bought from Vidiri Chocolate in downtown Raleigh last semester and they've kept this whole time.